Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and this is part 3 of Boomtown. Yes, the city that hopefully in the future will contain a million population. A lot of work has to be done in order to reach that uh, amount and you know, it's even a question whether that will even work uh, because it will be a, uh, a long long walk to even get there now in the previous episode i have expanded um, these uh, roads all the way here to here to here to here they're all covered with trees <laughs> i see now thank you tree anarchy for that so let's uh, untree that um so these extra roads provide now more connection to the to the main city here and uh also here a few trees to the main city here and also i made one over here as well now in order to stimulate the um, exporting cap capabilities i built like this cargo harbor over here you know monkeyed around a little bit with uh, with the key wall and i placed it uh, on a pretty pretty nice place now i said in the beginning like i did not want it to do anything to do with massive dlc but now I've been thinking, you know, I've been looking at the map and I, I, let, I let it run for like, I don't know, 15 minutes. So it did not yield that much money. So I can put it to full speed. So then, you know, it gains money. But when we look at the map uh, and we look at national resources, na natural resources, then there's something that is drawing my attention as of now. Now, as you, if, you, if you look where the roads are, we see like the roads are running here, they're running here up to the top, they're running here to the side, also here to the side, and also down here. Now, we see a lot of oil patches. Now, we all know that oil is a very nice commodity to, you know, make an easy profit on. And, you know, profit is a thing that the city really needs, because... Like I said, most of the city will be regular buildings, uh, commercials, etc. And that's it. Now I was thinking, by looking at this little one over here, you know, and also the road that is running here, or maybe this one, but this one is not at the edge. Yeah, or maybe even this one, but that is next to this river. So <laughs> we, have, we have enough choices here. So I think it will be this one. I think of like, maybe why not exploit this a little bit? Why not? You know, why not take this uh, brush also and make sure that yep, that last piece is also covered like that. Very simple. Now, okay, so we have like the road here. And I can just make a, let me see. Oh, this is, oh, this is a pretty, okay, that's a big hill. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can do with that. Now, first of all, we are taking uh, the highway and we are taking the national road. Yes. Now we take it from here. This is roughly, yeah, the highest setting. Okay, let's see what we can do. From here to there. Now, do we have like this enabled? No, we don't. No, we don't. And I want it from here. So let's say here, now I know this will go up, so let's bring this into the air, it's just a guess, 20, and then press home here, by 50, let's have a look at this incline, decline, whatever it is, yeah, it still goes down here, so I'm going to use the move it mod, and I select this node, and align it with this one. Holy macaroni, that is like huge. <laughs> that is really huge. Very interesting, interesting at the same time. So let me make this a little bit further. So this bulges, yeah, it really bulges. So, okay. Now what we can do is using the network multi-tool up here and say like, let's slope this thing, you know, slope mode. So we take this option we take this point and we slope it all the way to the point where we came from, which is here. Yeah, that will make like a perfect, nice, straight road. You see? But hugely high. Okay. 
Now we will change this road into a bridge mode. Like that. So it is all nice and flat. As you can see, it's all nice and flat. You know, because yeah, the, ter the terrain is just like this. Nothing to do about it. Now let me see how we can do this and bring it to the other side. Now I think that will not be that difficult. So first of all, we select this and we bring it across the other side of the road like that. But the only thing we need to do is just bring it down. So this is like a height of <laughs> 81 meters. Okay, so we make a very large bend because the larger we make the bend, the more we can play with the, you know, with the bend. So I make it 30 by, if I can see it, thank you, thank you, 30. And I will drop this to, uh, let's say 40, roughly. And then again, well, not a 30. This time we do a little bit less because we need some space for the on and off ramps, which require roughly, I think, six. So let's make it then a 24 by a 24. And we bring this down to one. Not zero, but one. Otherwise you get like a weird incline. Now already you see that actually the slope, look at this slope, it's already, it's not bad, yeah? So to make sure that this slope is pretty uh, solid, uh, we are going to slope this again yeah? from this point, yeah? This, we select this node to here. There's always a little bit of adjustment that can be made. Whoa, <laughs> that went uh, more steeper than I thought. Wow, why does that look so steep? Huh. Okay, uh, and then from here again to, I think it was here, right? Yeah, but there's a little, little nick here, but that's okay, that's okay. Now from here, we say like, okay, we take this road and then we take this option uh, why can I not make the road now? What is going on here? Let's escape. Let's try this again. Okay, now it works. And we connect this. Uh, let's select this option. And we connect this with 11. Yeah, and then also 11 here. Yeah, that's fine. You go that way. And to make this stuff, of course, uh, lane mathematical wise, we take this road. And we say like four, 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 and four. Normally I would take the three inside of here, but um, I want this to be a little bit more realistic, you know, with the real on and off ramps. Okay, let's also do this to align this uh, main road basically with uh, this, this piece of road with the main road, like that, straight. Now, now we can bend this, we can also bend this until things are going to deshape. Now I think this is already pretty nice, roughly like that. Great, now we are grabbing the traffic manager and we put some uh, Hugo there's. You know, we all heard about Hugo. Hugo is, uh, you know, the, how you call that, the sponsor teddy bear whatever of uh, our good friend Biffa and uh, then we select the junction restrictions and we say like okay yeah, everybody can go through these junctions no crossings at all so that is fixed over here right now the other part involves a four lane road a four lane uh, let me see a proper four lane road for you here oh this one nah ugly Ugly. <laughs> mm, pretty fair. Still ugly. <laughs> what is this for a road anyway? Nothing. Nothing special. This is the one that, yeah, belongs to the. What's the difference between this and this? Hmm? This is like large avenue with grass. This is the one with trees. And about this one, decorative trees. Okay, makes no real difference. Does not matter. Who cares? Highway. 
this is this is always the way how I basically make my uh, you know my trumpets uh, because I like trumpets because trumpets are fairly easy to make they're highly effective you can do proper lane mathematics on them you know as you can see here two lanes coming in from both sides here one here one you know end up in a four lane road and ta da here you go now this has to go down now, I don't know if this will work proper we go to there well it does and then from here nope that's let's take this come on to whoa that that skews away a little bit it will still work it will still work I hope <laughs> I hope now let's uh, make a bend here like um, 10 by 10 yeah 10 by 10 and then let's see can we hook this on here to the highway with a 10 we can yes and here with a 10 we can also okay we need to flip this around flip this around like that that and that's already settled then we take the traffic manager we say like okay you go there and you go there etc and injunction restrictions say like you know move through the junction and never forget this little piece you know and also here on the other side i already did that okay now let's have a look at this slope you know because we want to have this properly sloped um now the nasty thing about this tool you know the sloping tool is that sometimes it can dig a huge uh, carve into the actual mountain because and the, pro the problem is this tool has no undo button that's uh yeah like i said nasty still i want to try it anyway from here to there i think it will carve into the hill but let's see what happens Okay, and then from here to there the same. So it did carve into the hill somewhat, but mm, okay, okay, nothing we can solve with some landscaping because hey ho hey ho, we have this tool. Why not use it, right? So let's landscape this. like that now what is my idea here my idea here is actually to create like a just a little oil area in that area and uh, just to you know to gain some nice revenue um but before i do that i'm looking at this and uh, i'm not so fond of it you know what i'm seeing here this this kind of slope let's select this thing select this thing and then slope it like that and we do the same over here and just select this and oh you cannot slope it so okay that's okay um yeah i mean it will work it, it will work so let's not spend too much time on it i mean these are just details uh, so let's uh, do uh, the lane mathematics so you four lanes there and four lanes there and with the note controller here we go yeah we do the note controller we put this no yeah this to there click click and click and click and also here we do the same we hold the shift button we select this note and we align it with this so that road is more nice and straight and then with the movement mod we have to do it a little bit on on our eyeball sight sadly enough but our eyes are still working perfectly fine so we can do this so we take this option and we say okay you can join together like that like that and here they can figure it out themselves and here well maybe here and here 
And here they can make a big their lanes, I suppose. Yeah, I think so. Okay, now. Um, this piece, by the way, this piece also needs to be elevated. Yeah. And now we have like this little hump there that I, that I don't like. So I will do it from here to there. Yeah, now it's more straight. Okay. Completely over the top, but we already gained a lot of more money, so I'm pretty happy with that. So we draw this this thing all the way to the oil area we are having over here. Now this will be very simple. Simple, effective, not too complicated. We will get like um the for you road, which is the industrial road, this one. We're just going to make it go up to roughly there, and then there, and then there. Now up here I want to place the pumps. Yeah. Now the first thing we need to do is create a industrial zone. Okay, that will be from here to roughly there, and uh, that's sort of it. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, also make this uh, flat. Line it to this height. <coughs> Holy moly. <coughs> Ooh, look at that. Hmm. Let's try that again. Control, control H to there. Did not expect that this area to be so. Uh... So hilly. Okay, so. Mm, yeah, before you know it, you start to, you know, monkeying around with the terrain and. Okay, but, you know, we soften this nicely out. This is what is also. And then here we take this tool again and make a nice incline to there. That will that will work. And we take this tool again by softening this out and it will work fine. Um, just a sec. Uh, okay, so we also need this piece. Oh my life. What am I doing? <laughs> what I'm doing? Here I go again with these industries. Oh my life. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, okay. So, we need, first of all, a main headquarters. So, we will make this road there, and then there, and. Oh man, why does it go up here? Okay, let's remove this. Like that. And build it up here. To here and also here I have to make that the same height like that control H okay from here bring it up to there up to there and even here we still have to make it the same height these and I I think this road is not even straight. Wait a second. You go there, there. Now it's straight. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we grab this piece and we align the height with this. Nice. Okay, so it requires a little bit of, you know, monkeying around with the terrain, but. As soon as this is done, you know it's something. It's it's a one time one time go, and you don't you know you you are not bothered by it again. You just let it run, right? Okay, so we go to the oil industry. Oil is money. Main building. We place that over here, just like that. And then at the, on the top here, we will be placing these uh, pumps large oil drilling rig like one two three four five 
six, seven, eight. Why not? Why not? Now we need a place to store that stuff in, and um, depending on from which direction you are coming, mm, you know, in these um, silos, uh, I can utilize a one way road system, this one. So they can come from, let's say, from here, they drive here, take a right turn, take another right turn. So the question is now, how much space? I think we need to get one lower like this. Let's test it out. Let's test it out. So, uh, a large crude oil tank. Will that fit here? It will fit perfectly. So I put it there. And I pull this road all the way to there. Now I take this thing again, this tank, and put one there, put one there, put one there. And put one there. They require water and electricity. Ooh. Water and electricity? I thought I had like this big pump. Well, um, we just take like this thing and we put it here in the middle of nowhere. Boink. And electricity wise. Uh, we can put a few of these in between. Three of them. Mm, okay. And first of all, we set these things to fill. You know, fill, 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 fill. Fill. And fill. Now, this is basically everything that you need to, uh, to export oil. Um, what can you do more? Well, we could use some fact. We could build some factories. Is possible. Just a few. Oh, the wrong button. So let's say they bring the oil from here, and there we go. Just to the other side, like that. And then we go to the factories, which are like the bigger ones are these: the Naffa Cracker plant, which is this one. We put that uh, over here. Next to it, there will be the waste oil refinery. Let's put that over there. And let's not exaggerate. You know, only place two of these guys, of each of them. These are one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's put this one then. See, this one is on the same height as that one, but that one is closer to the edge. But okay, like that, and then this one we put then over there. That will roughly do. Okay, so uh, let's also not forget to uh, give these people uh, some parking, and not to forget also some worker barracks. So parking lot, parking lot, parking lot. Also here, parking lot. Parking lot, parking lot, parking lot, parking lot, parking lot. In a parking lot. And then uh, some worker barracks. So these people can stay here in some of these places. Like one, two, three. No, that's not correct. Yeah, one to that end. And then another three. Another three, another three, another three, and another three. It gives 140% efficiency. Okay, that could work. Um, these guys are producing, also nice. So we want these guys to put their stuff also in warehouses. So for that we need to make a road that goes from here to the other side and we take warehouses we just grab the smaller ones because these are too big so we grab the smaller ones and we just plunk down one two three four right now these guys are producing 
uh, petroleum, plastics, petroleum, plastics. Right? Right. Now, we are nearly there. Because these guys, we can go here. Uh, let me take this road again. We have, because we have like something called a household factory. Yeah, household factory in the unique factories. Now, ooh, I have only one for one left. Okay, okay. So, uh, in the unique factories, we have the household factory, which is this one. Just like that. Yeah. Now, normally you can only build one of these guys, but you can add the mod, not so unique buildings, but you can also use the move it mod, yeah, which is very interesting. You select the building and then you just copy it. It's a, it's a bit of a tricky way to get an extra building, you know, like that. And then here we make like, we, we grab this thing. Uh, here roughly and we put in here unique factory products and that's basically it uh, the only thing that we need uh, furthermore is like some services uh, so like for example the garbage uh, service because here at the main building they're always complaining so garbage and garbage they will collect the garbage there uh, especially something against Fire, fire, we take this building, put it just here in the middle, that works out fine, and then we do, do some policing, just a simple police head, headquarters will do, and uh, let me see, do I ever get something, I don't know, uh, maybe a few, yeah, parking lots as well, here, here, well, and a small, a few smaller ones there. That's fine. Here a few. And of course here. Because these roads, uh, these uh, four lane roads, these small four lanes roads, they don't um, have parking. So are you complaining about policing? Did I not place the police station over here? Uh, okay. So they will export it, uh, you know, to that direction. And it can be brought towards the city, but it can also be exported as well. Now I can also make like a train connection here that goes directly to the outside. Um, will I do that? Well, I can do it. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's a hilly terrain. But they bring the stuff here so they can bring it there. Yeah, it's, it's, it is possible, it's possible. So, check this out. We do it in such a way that the traffic will not be hampered by it. So, we do it like this. We go all the way to there. Yeah. Then, we make a, a 4x4 bend. Like that. We go all the way back. Yeah. Here we place that cargo station. So we place the cargo station toink over there. Good enough. We take this road again. I do just a six by six. I think that's better. And then here on this last stretch. Oh. Ah. Yeah. It does not want to comply. Three by three. And then it jumps. But here for that we also have like a, a solution. You, know, you do it like that and then you use the note controller and just say like, okay, you want this bend to be a little bit uh, wider, then you just widen it like that. And voila, we have like a, you know, a connection here. So we use the train editor to flatten this a little bit out because we need to put a train over it sorry <laughs> oh man I'm just so much monkeying around you know oh, that thing is not even connected wait a second get out of here 
you can just you know stand there with now with no issues just hook a pipe to you done yeah now the only thing that remains is basically train lines uh train where are you here a little bit like that and look at the distance to the edge now from here no from here and from here like that we are going to make two outside connections like that and like that and you might wonder like why well i will show you in a moment and here we will connect this up we will connect that up we remove this and now we take the one way train track we say like okay you get out here you get in here you see then these train lines you know these trains will never sit in each other's way when they get in or out of the region you know it's like the perfect uh, situation we grab this parking lot we put it there so people can park their cars and we enhance also the speed of this road to 60 it's now 40. see we make it 60 and look they will already export their stuff now in the future it is possible to extend this line you know when when the city grows and, and we and we and this line can be extended great now now with this oil um, thing sort of uh, nearly finished uh, we can add a few of these i think because we do have some space left here yeah how much percent is that now 180 ah that's not 200 yet i want 200 so i take two of these let's say one two we have 200 now no we need two more two more one and two now we have 200 perfect 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 so we grab this parking lot these guys can park there and there and the same goes for for these like that and that and voila here we have like a little little um you know money making area in the corner uh, let's surround it with some 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 bushes you know, like that so it's sort of like tucked away a little bit so nobody sees it out of sight no nope, that's a little bit too much bushes yeah i think that's nice now the question is like okay how much money does this uh, now yield all this oil so here we can see now what it yields and well to my surprise it says like total profit five thousand in the minus but i don't believe that i already know why this is the case it's because the silos are set to fill that's the problem they have to set to balanced and then they can balanced balanced because then they will deliver their stuff to uh, to these factories yeah and th these factories will bring it to these uh, little uh, storehouses and these little storehouses will bring it then eventually to these two uh, oh i will slide these up also slide these up and they will make household factory stuff and that will be delivered here and these will be also exporting and bring it also to the to the main city and that's basically it uh, you know this little uh, thing oh, we have like a power issue again well for the time being i can fix that with using these things you know, just one two three four five until i have enough money to uh, to get like a tesla gigafactory then this is not uh, needed anymore nice let's do a little bit of training stuff just like that 
Yeah, pretty nice. Maybe I will in the future put a moat around it, you know, a canal or something. So let's see how much money it will now yield. Ah, now we are in the profit. So how much profit will it actually give? Hmm. Well, it depends a little bit because we also have warehouses in the in the city itself but you can count on that it will definitely give some profits so i think this is okay and we can now just leave it as it is and we can focus back on the city now since this took practically the entire episode and the city also has been you know expanding you can see it you know the buildings they uh, have uh, increased you know in size and they are getting nicer also. Well, in the previous episode I also uh, noticed that I had put my draw distance all the way to the wrong end, to the <laughs> to the minimum. So that's why I had such a blurry uh, vision. I noticed that when I was busy here, here with these roads, because I was looking through these forests that way and I was thinking like, what is that blur, blurred? You can look it up, you know, in episode 2 and then you will see it. So. How is this running? Look at this bridge, you know, this br I think this bridge is insane, you know? It's an insane bridge. Hmm. Now, let me do a little bit about those trees. No, you don't want the tree sticking over your bridge or even under your bridge or even near your bridge or whatever like that like that or even on the road itself yeah so I did notice here something with the land here yeah it digs in now what if I take this option and I say like stick it to the land Okay, and I take this thing and I say like slope. We have to, okay, we have to do the same here as well. Say like slope. Then it looks perfect. Look at that, perfect, perfect. Okay guys, I hope that you uh, found this uh, pretty interesting uh, actually and uh, I will make a kind of screenshot, you know, in this fashion and then I say like uh, you know, make this a, a little, little secret to come. So I press F12 like that. And I say to you guys, I will see you soon. Hopefully back in episode 4. And then we will go on proceeding with extending the city even further. Okay guys, thank you for watching. And until the next time. And see you. Bye bye.